Hello and happy gaming everyone. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and even though I've been having plenty of trouble dealing with, it, dealing with the uh, new difficulties of the game, I am still here to give it <clears throat> to give it a go because I am not going to stop until I <clears throat> until I've made it back to the top, baby. So, how do we want to do this? I think we definitely want a long range build. At least I think I want a long range build. I could be wrong about that. Let's see. What? Dash. We're gonna take way front. Everything else looks pretty good. And we're working with Jade's Jeweled Tiara just for max damage output. Looks good to me. Let's do it. So, up first we have Freya's Ice Castle. Man, I don't like that. Oh, I really don't like that. Crap. Alright, so here's hoping I can find the vitamin gummies. Because otherwise... Atlas's Terrace is going to be the death of me. Oh no, you will suffer my Mario Fireballs, sir. Waha! And down they go. Alright, feeling pretty confident now, but let's... <coughs> Apologies. Let's take a step back and realize that it's that overconfidence, that hubris, that's been killing me in my other runs. So let's not... Let's not let myself get taken aback by thinking that I can't be beaten, because that's very clearly not the truth. There we go. There's one thing that the design of this game definitely reinforces. It's the idea that long range is definitely the way to go. It's really hard to make to make a good melee build. Like, even the best of melee builds tend to come across a lot of the same problems. Namely being, what do we have here? I like Binary Splashdown. Don't know if that's what I want to take though. Bolt Claymore is fun, but I don't know. Let me see what the let me see what Anders is selling. But yeah, enemies like well, the guy I just killed, the orb that has the essentially the saw blades orbiting him. That enemy, in and of itself, tends to be... I will take this. Because we're working from a distance, that means that the slower activation speed actually isn't that bad. There we go. So, the slower activation speed is a problem, but 20% extra damage? I think just about anyone can agree that that's, that's worth it. Yeah, okay, I knew I was taking that hit, but it's worth it to hit the Elemental Summoner. Alright, I was cornered and killed in this room not too long ago, so... Let me just be more careful with this one. Alright, here's Anders. What do we have? Okay, well I like Thesis on Defense and Royal Jelly.
There we go. Alright, looking good. Um, I'd rather not take double damage, sorry. And no, I'm not going to take Binary Splashdown. I am going to wait and see what becomes available on the next floor. By the way, for those of you who are una unaware, today, <laughs> today marks Super Bowl 54. Apparently one of the one of the biggest events in American sports. Not gonna lie, I don't care. I'm just pointing it out because for some people this is big this is a big thing. Especially for the people whose teams are involved in it. And again, for those of you who are curious, it's the Kansas City Chiefs and the something 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 I don't know. Pretty sure it's the 49ers, I'm also pretty sure I just don't give a damn. And that's really the big thing when it comes right down to it is, I'm not a big sports person. There are some sports that I respect more than others, for sure. But for the most part, I do not follow these things. And that, boil, that boils right down to talking about sports video games as well. Like, I know some of the things that are going on with those games and how EA has basically ruined things like Madden with their ultimate team mode because fuck it, we need more money. And that may as well just be Activision's motto, we've gotta have more money. That's basically their life, is we've got to have more money. I like how you're standing just at the perfect angle to the statue, just to make it so that I can't hit you. Okay, we're definitely taking the taking these. All right, so we're not picking up many spells, but that's fine. Right now, the cool, the bonus to cooldowns from the robe we're wearing is do, is doing enough, and we'll be able to get more spells soon. But between Surefire Rocket and Ancient Fountain Pen, that's that's going to be big. That's going to help us out quite a bit. So right now it's plus 2%, but that number's going to go up every time I use my signature. And that ought to be a lot of fun. Oh, sweet. Came with odd timing. I don't know if I can find a battle room in time. Did I ever find Iris? I don't think I ever found Iris. Not that I can afford anything that she's selling, but would I have wanted? No. No, no, I wouldn't have. Alright, nothing here really catches my interest. Nothing here is worth spending my dosh. Stupid. Alright, it's okay. Oh, and you see, that's one of the big reasons why I like Wavefront, is even though I kind of smashed right into his face there like a complete genius, I didn't take really any damage because I had Wavefront there to act as a shield. So there you go, big brain plays there. <laughs> By the way, may maybe this is a good time to ask. Can someone tell me what the big deal is about the Super Bowl? Why everyone goes nuts about it? And yes, I understand that it's the last it's the last game of the regular season. Or it's the last game of any, of the season in general. It's a, a big postseason deal. It's to determine which team was the best throughout the year. I get all that. 
but I'm not sure. Why does it matter so much to people? It's not like the COVID. It's not like anything that you do is going to really change how the players feel or how they perform. I don't know, maybe I'm just a cynical ass and I'm and people are going to look at me like, but it's important, and I'm still going to be like, but why though? Why do you care so much? And even though I respect soccer, you know, the, the actual football more, I kind of ask the same question about that. Why do y'all get so worked up about that? And again, I get him, I get it. Sports are just more important to some people than others. I am one of those people to whom sports is not very important at all. That should seem relatively obvious by now, but I am curious as to why, as to why professional uh, professional sports are a big thing for some people. I've never really understood. And even my even when my mom was still around, she loved she loved the NFL like with a passion. And I'm sorry, I don't get it. It's I mean, it's very clearly not my thing, but maybe just a little bit of understanding can help me figure out why it's why it's perhaps other people's thing. Or is it just stupid for me to try to understand? Is this one of those things where ever before people are gonna be like if you don't get it now, when you're never going to. Well, a quest for understanding doesn't necessarily need to need to be rooted in anything like super like anything much deeper than just wanting to understand. I and mean, yeah, it might not necessarily change my mind, but it would at least it would at least help to have an understanding as to why things like this are important, why it's important to so many people. Okay, use the right spells. Yes, please enhance wave front. That's a good one to enhance. It'll make it'll make it so that it has a stronger shield. Yes, increase shield durability, please. What do we have here? I like Cabby's bubble gum. Um, Curse Eater's vest. I only have one cursed relic, so I don't know if that minor amount of of armor and H and HP improvement is really worth it. Now, granted, I could grab another cursed relic. That would probably make it more worthwhile, but do I really want? So it's early enough in the game that I'm going to be visiting the shops a lot. So having the store prices increased that much is going to be a problem. Decreasing damage is... I, I do have a lot of damage increases, don't get me wrong. But I just don't think... Ha I don't think the decrease in damage is necessarily worth it. That is actually going to decrease my survivability. I don't know, I kind of talk myself out of that, but if there were one I probably would take, it would be the tortoise shell. I just don't think it's a good idea to lower my damage. And you are talking to someone who values their offense. So I think I'm just going to let that pass. And who knows, maybe later on I'll find out, man, maybe that was the right move to take that turtle shell. But as of right now, I think I'm comfortable with what I've got. Oh, I fired it the wrong way. Damn it! Yeah, we're up to a 22% damage increase for for our signature. And that is big. I 
Not that I really need to explain to anyone why that's big. It's an extra 22%. It should seem fairly obvious. Lovely. All right, looking good. Ah, another Kabi item. So now what I could really use is something that strengthens my basic. And what would really help is that I can just get the improved version of my basic so that my Mario fireballs trample. That's kind of what I need. I almost always go right first, and I don't really have a good reason why. Any excuse to use that ancient fountain pen? 26%! And here's the boss, running into you a little early, but come back to it. Um, no, no, you don't understand. I need the Mario Fireballs. You know, Bouncing Blaze, I need that improved. I could find either that or the Claws of Tomo, which I'm convinced was something that the developers named after Northern Lion's Cat, then I would be very happy. To 28. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, yay, an air, air elemental summoner. Have I mentioned yet that I think the elemental summoners are about the worst thing in the world? Okay, I'm not going to complain about that. That's one less problem I have to deal with. 30% now. Yes, I am keeping a running tally, thank you very much, because I like knowing where, I, where I've come from and where I'm going. Hello, Anders. What do you have for me? I will definitely take the token of elegance. Because now... If and when I find Seville the Tailor, the he'll take the token, and I'll basically get a get a garment improvement for free. Like, and when I say free, I mean not just the money, but it also won't cost health to upgrade either. So that is actually a huge, huge improvement. Nah, no thanks. The improvement... To be fair, the improvements are small on that. They're not... They're stacking up slowly, but it's stacking up in such a way that... It, <clears throat> especially since I got it at such an early point in the game that I should be able to get an awful lot of extra damage out of this. Oh, really? You just snipe me through a wall? Okay. Yeah, that's what you guys get. Nice heaping helping of BLOW ME!
Beautiful. All right. So that was one extra use. That puts me up to 36%. I'm feeling happy. damage. Hey, it's not seeming like much, but oh, it's so good. I don't think I'm ever going to use that, but there it is. Let's just use it just to build up. Nice. Looking good, looking good. Alright, I need to be very careful taking on Shu. I still maintain that Shu the Wind Sovereign is perhaps the hardest boss in the game. Well, hardest next to uh, next to Sura. He's just so freaking fast, and most of his attacks track you very well. There we go. Alright. Smooth sailing. I even got two signatures off off against him during that fight. I don't want to change my signature not my signature, but why you want me to change to change my dash? I like my dash arcana. My dash arcana creates a shield. I like shields. Okay. I've maintained that Atlas's Terrace is one of the worst is one of the worst dungeons to get, just like, well, worst, one of the worst dungeons to get late game, just because of how much poison gets thrown around here. And it's one thing for it to be an environmental hazard, but half the time the enemies are, the elemental enemies throw out poison as well, and just... And now against the enemies, I think poison is damn near useless because of how slow it ticks up. But against you, poison is fantastic because it doesn't need to tick up very quickly. Okay, I think 40% is the maximum. But that's fine. I am happy being at that point. I am not going to complain. Okay, so having a, having a chance to resist defeat when my health reaches zero is good, because I get the feeling I might need it, and I might buy the watery cushion. I have yet to decide. It just kind of depends on what else is available. Oh, yeah, that was smart. Down here, buddy. Thank you. By the way, I noticed I haven't even touched Heroic Leap. I really don't think it's a great spell. Hey, it's not awful, but it's definitely one of those spells that can put you in more trouble than it's worth. There we go, okay. And that's the sort of thing when I, I mean when I say I need to play more carefully. Instead of just trying to do maximum damage, kiting the enemies and dodging around their attacks is just as useful. Oh my god, I was just talking about how I can't, how I don't want to be the victim of poison. Okay, so this room is going to damn near kill me all by itself just because of what I was saying earlier. Just because of freaking poison. And because of this guy not allowing me to move. It's 
See, this is what I'm talking about. Fucking Atlas, your fucking palace is the worst. But this is why I bought the royal jelly, so I can, so that I can afford to win. Yeah, so I can afford to buy health potions and not lose effectiveness on them. See, this is why I wanted the upgraded bouncing blaze because now the fireballs ba now the fireballs trample. Which means I can hit multiple things with them, and they be they become much better at. And they become much better at. Okay, everyone, fuck off. Okay, so the only reason I'm alive right now is because of box escape key. said it's all just it was all damage sustained from one room one room pretty much killed me that is why I hate Atlas's palace Alright, I'm glad we have the token of elegance, and now I am beautiful and powerful. So it, incre in so it increases my run speed, and if my run speed and my damage and the, de and the decrease to my cooldowns all went up. Breaking Twister is probably better than Heroic Leap, but it's probably also still not something I'm going to use very much. Alright. At least most of the enemies in this area will be weak to it. Yeah, that one room. One room ruined me. Just completely and totally. Hey, Taffy. I know I can do this, and honestly I'm doing it more so out of curiosity than anything else. I just want to see what exactly is going to drop. Will it be more useful than Breaking Twister? No! Why game? Why do you insist on making me use Ion Spike? Um, excuse me, what?
Okay, so... This move? Atlas's palace is very scary to me. And of course, it's the last level, so... You just get everything. You get the... You get the elemental summoners, you get all the friggin' poison in the world. And I'm certainly not saying that difficulty shouldn't ramp up, but in the case of Atlas's palace, it feels like it's it feels like it all comes down on you like a ton of lead weights. And to me it really boils down to the It all boils down to the environment, the environmental poison hazards. Cause you can dodge enemy attacks like perfectly and then still get ruined by the elemental by the poison by the poison gunk that you're in that you sometimes step in just by accident. Iris. What do you have for me? Yep, that's what I thought it was. Alright, really need to find Ander's shop. I need that I need a health potion. Bad. Ugh, elemental rogues, even. Again, I can I can attribute everything that went wrong in that floor to one room. That is why I hate seeing Atlas at level 3. Absolutely cannot stand seeing him at level 3. So, that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. One of these days I will pass a Wizard of Legend run. One of these days. Obviously today is not that day, but... <clears throat> Until next time, keep yourself keep yourself safe, keep yourselves going, and I will see you in a future video. My name is Dark Sage Walker and I will be seeing you.